Applause for the jury, please. Very good. Uh, but now we will continue with something different. Something happened yesterday. Something happened yesterday and the day before yesterday. And the day before yesterday. Yeah, it was a 24-hour hackathon called uh -huh. The Future of Food. Food. I love food. I know. And there's a problem actually in the world that uh, some people are saying we're going to have too little food to feed all the people around the world. Uh -huh. So we need to think about new solutions. And this is where technology and innovation can come in, right? Exactly. Let's turn coal into food or oil into food. That would be Let's good. Let's eat, eat all the fossil fuels. In my childhood, there was a cartoon about, and there was a fish that was feeding on uh, oil, actually. Really? Yeah. Like a cartoon or a real fish? That was a cartoon fish. Cartoon fish. <laughs> Very yeah. good. So we will have Future of Food Hackathon best pitches, basically the winners, yes? Three winners of Future of Food Hackathon. And yeah, actually about the hackathon. So it happened two days uh, before this event. And it was a massive success. There were 100 participants mm -hmm. from like all over the world, I would say. Very different nationalities. And also the winning teams are very different nationalities. Really cool uh, people, really cool ideas. Let's actually explain very quickly because we will have actually two hackathons pitching. Because after that, we're going to have an LMT IoT hackathon winners pitching as well. Yep. Because I think there will uh, be two winners coming on the stage as well. So you will not only see the Future of Food hackathon best pitches, but also the uh, LMT IoT hackathon best pitches. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, they, they have already won. They have already uh, won. So you will see what kind of ideas were worked on during these last days. Mm -hmm. So you I will carry on with this one, yes? Yeah, I will carry on with this one and I will just also um, tell you why you should join hackathons because the winners of food, Future of Food Hackathon, they got uh, 10,000K uh, from Rimi. Oh, so you mean like real money? Yeah, like money to bring their idea to life. So, so but basically they got the same amount what we are going to give at 50 Founders Battle, basically. Yeah. 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 Look, join fucking hackathons, sorry. Yes, <laughs> but I really meant it, join fucking hackathons. <laughs> exactly. What else, what, what else did, did, do you know about the prizes about the LMT IoT hackathon? Uh, what did they get? No, I don't have information about that, unfortunately. But they de we can ask them. Yeah, we can, we can also tell yeah. a little bit later. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Then I'm, I'm going, you will do that part. All right. So, now, from Future of Food Hackathon, the first team to pitch here now today is Green Bites. Shall we invite Green Bites? Yay! Coming on stage, amazing lady. So, you'll have the clicker. Yes. I think there's no timer for your pitch, but it's about three minutes. I'll Same length short. as yesterday. Perfect. Good luck. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I am Renata. I am one of the co-founders of Green Bites. So, we have identified a big old problem. There is a problem of over-ordering with food retailers, and this is a major cause of food waste. In Europe, we throw away 685 tons of food every day. And throwing away food isn't just bad for the planet, it's also bad business. In 2018, we threw away 16.8 billion euros, and we only made half of that back in profit from retail. Now, this is just unacceptable. This is where Green Bites comes in. To simplify it, what we do is we take, we are, food, we are forecast service providers for restaurants. We take information directly from cash registers, we take them to our servers, and our servers predict future sales. With these future sales, we can tell restaurants how much they need to be ordering in the, in the upcoming days. We offer money saved, time optimized, and environmental assessments. Now let's talk about what we were able to do in the 24 hours that we did not sleep. We were able to come up with a nice interface that worked with our algorithms. We were also able to test our algorithms with two years of test data for two restaurants, a juice store and a sandwich store. We were able to get our algorithms to predict future sales with an accuracy of 86%. This was just during the hackathon. We know that these numbers will continue to increase because our algorithms are continuously learning. So what does this look like? I want you to imagine that you are a Green Bites customer. 
You work at a restaurant. You go onto an interface and you log on. You input your menu. In your menu, you break down your ingredients and put in all that good stuff. And once your uh, ingredients are put in and your menu is broken down, we can create a prediction of what you need to be ordering in the upcoming days. And I have a nice little summary. If this looks good to you, all you have to do is approve, and your orders will be automatically sent out to your distributors. And if not, you just go ahead and adjust it. No big deal. So we make money through a two-part business plan. We have an initial investment, which is where we set everything up and make sure that your POS system is connected to our servers. And secondly, we have a monthly subscription to allow that allows you to use our services. Is there a market for Green Bites? Absolutely. In 2018, the food mitigation market made 26.8 billion euros. And this is forecasted to continue increasing by 5.3% through 2025. So, what's next for Green Bites? We are hoping to launch our minimum viable product by, the, by this summer. We will implement the nice interface design that we're able to put together in the hackathon. And we want to continue in more testing in more restaurants. As of now, we are currently testing in two restaurants. Thank you. And we are Green Bites. Thank you, Green Bites. Do we have a question maybe in the audience? Something you want to find out about Green Bites? You can put your hand up if you have a question. There's no questions. Um, wow, it's so great. I have a question. Tell How me. do you feel about the after the hackathon? Um, a little tired, slowly becoming more human, but really energized and inspired. Did you manage to sleep tonight? Yes, yeah, so much. OK, <laughs> let's go. OK, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, hand of applause. And then the next team coming up is Broccoli. Come up here and tell us what you came up with. There you go, the green buddy. Hi, everyone. I am Eric from Broccoli. And once I tried to order food from online grocery store, but to my surprise, I spent the same time as a real one. It was quite an inconvenience for me because what I got was this, but all I wanted was this. You see, the issue is quite clear that we are like feeling like in a physical store. And so what we have done, we wanted to shift the focus from product-based purchasing to the meal-based purchasing. That's why during those 24 hours, we built an app uh, which takes the recipes of the food, and it's a platform which basically transforms recipes to the meals, to the products from grocery stores. On the left, you can see the main interface, for example, in recommendations. In the future, we plan to have some advanced analytics, so food will be or meals will be predicted to you by your past purchases, also some templates for well-known food like pizza. So when you select pizza, you can select, I don't know, you want cheddar cheese today and onions, you just order it, you can see that shopping cart is not filled with 50 items, which is usually, but just four. You just order that, put it inside, you can check what other possibilities are there for you. For example, you want other cheese. Also, we have some saved recipes. For example, you have some really good recipe from your grandma. You put it in, you order it next time, there is no waiting. Also, we have analytics tab, which is for us, quite important one because you will actually see all the finances and all the nutrition which is coming in. And it's just 24 hours what we did, and in the future we really want to improve it a lot better. So what about the business? So what is it, our business model? I think it's quite clear that the first thing is that we will work with uh, grocery retailers. We will try to mark up the transactional price, the second one, in the business, we will have some ad revenue from the retail brands. And the third one is a freemium model for our analytics tab. So I don't know, you have some fitness plan or some other thing which you want to explore, but you should pay a little bit more. And if you are talking about the market, I think uh, those who are from Baltics uh, really know that it's just getting traction in this region. In the world, it's a bit different. And uh, we see a huge opportunity for us to look at this issue from other side. And we are ready to work with online grocery shops. 
uh, because we want to actually empower them because we are not feeling that we can run a really big grocery shop and give this experience to customers, but we rather be a platform for them, right? So this is our uh, outlook, and these were our 24 hours. Thank you. Thank you, Broccoli team. Thank you. Do we have maybe a question from the audience? Anybody wants to find out more? Okay. Preet, do you have a question? No. <laughs> <laughs> you have. Um, all right. I have a question. Um, so, what what was the thing that you wanted to order that time uh, when when you came up with this uh, feeling that it takes too long? <laughs> well, actually, we just wanted to do the simple groceries we usually do. We wanted to think, okay, I need this, I need this, I need that, and then set like 40 minutes and choosing items and UI was not the best. And when you're using apps like Vault or Bolt uh, now, it's super simple and we never know that this experience can even exist with groceries. Yep. Okay. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. I'll take that one from you. Okay. And the final third pitch from the Future of Food Hackathon is Jar Buddies. Come up on stage, give applause to Jar Buddies. There you go. Thank you. All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Um, so we are Jar Buddies, and Jar Buddy loves fermentation. Uh, fermentation is an ancient process uh, which turns food into something delicious, healthy, and sustainable. Um, and the best thing is you can do it at home. There's already people doing it, yet the process can also be complex and um, is maybe hard to comprehend fully. That's where we come in. We want to create a platform in order to educate people on the matter and create a community um, with the people that are already interested in the product. So we want to create an app. Um, so when you download it, log on to it, um, you will you see a feed of recipes that you could do. Um, let's say, for instance, kombucha. Um, this is a fermented tea drink. Um, if you click on the recipe, it shows you some general stuff like uh, prep time and duration of the fermentation, but it also shows you the equipment you need. The equipment, if you don't have some of it, you can buy it directly in our online shop and it will be shipped to you. Furthermore, we can see the ingredients. Ingredients for fermentation are very simple. Water, sugar, um, maybe tea, stuff like that. But sometimes you also need a starter culture. A starter culture is basically the heart of the fermentation. That's what makes the magic happen, so to say. Um, these are around, but it's quite hard to come by or you need to order them from the internet. Um, so our uni first unique feature is to propose a radar-like uh, map system which shows you uh, the people around you that are already doing these fermentations. So here you can see there's maybe five or six people in your vicinity that already have this starter culture you need. Then uh, you can contact them and uh, set up uh, an interaction to get these starter cultures. <clears throat> and once you get these starter cultures, you're able to start your fermentation. Great. Secondly, uh, it's pretty hard to keep track of fermentation usually because you have to write it down and then you need to remember, stuff like that. But by, uh, with our second unique feature, we can add a project um, which times your fermentation. You can see here that we have three simultaneous pro uh, fermentations going on. Sauerkraut, kimchi, kombucha. So we can see that the kimchi is at 30% and it's uh, three days remaining. Well, great, I can forget about it, leave it in my cupboard, and at some point when it's done, I get a notification, your kimchi is ready, time to eat your delicious food. So, now, how are we going to make money off of this? Um, the idea is to create uh, a free, like, uh, to have a membership to the more complex uh, parts of our app, the community, where can I uh, get the starter cultures, and to do more simultaneous fermentations at a time. So, um, <coughs> um, yeah, then you would have to pay a small fee of two euros per month um, in order to access these features. Um, with those two euros per month, we would, uh, and 20 million potential uh, interested customers, we would be able to create uh, a potential revenue, uh, annual revenue of three million euros. Um, 
we came to this, this is, or we came to Riga actually because we were from Denmark with a passion for fermentation and a blank slate. Now, two days later, we stand here. Um, <clears throat> we stand here with the same passion for fermentation, with an idea to create a community uh, with the same love for fermentation, hoping it at some point can also reach out to you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And again, maybe there's a question in the audience. No questions in the no audience. Question. Uh, what's your favorite form of fermentation? Uh, I personally like uh, lacto fermentation, so that's the, the kimchi and sauerkraut. Very simple, very delicious. All right. Yeah. And uh, you use it at home? Lots. Lots, Lots. of it. Yeah. I think sure. it's a becoming like a really big trend, I hear that. Yeah, I guess that's why uh, we had maybe such an impact at the hackathon as well. Um, yeah. People already know that it's a trend? I think so, yeah. yeah. I think it's slowly uh, on the uprise and we hope to uh, capitalize on that, I guess. Okay. Who in the audience is using uh, fermentation? Put your hands up. Great. Oh, there's see. still room to grow. Yeah, for sure. But it's also... Um, yeah, already some people in there. Exactly. And they know maybe how hard it is to keep track of stuff. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Potentially interesting. Thank, Thank you so you. much. A round of applause. Okay, and now...